Today's the day. All right, guys. Today is the day. Turning my butt warmers on. About to go head for some Starbucks. And then we're headed down to the dyno. Last night was late. Um, I don't know if I put the clip yet in the video, but Ben's flights got all messed up. So I wound up having to go pick him up at a different airport at 12.30 midnight. And then I didn't mind I'm getting home till 2.30 in the morning. But uh, I'm up, hyped, ready to go. I'm so excited. We got about a half hour drive from uh, Starbucks to the dyno. And uh, Sean will be there from It's Not Stock. He'll be there about 10.30. And uh, I don't know if any of my other friends are gonna show up there or not today, but it's gonna be a good day. We're going. Kind of a cloudy day. 51 degrees out, not bad. It's supposed to rain in a bit. Hopefully it doesn't rain much. Sean's on his way down. He said I'll be here at 10.30. And uh, I wanna go get some pictures with his Mark 7. Cause that thing is sexy. He's got a really good camera. I can't wait to hang out with him later. Hopefully we can all go out to eat after this, get a beer or two. It should be a really, really great day. And for the record, my guess is uh, 4.05 and 4.20. All right, we're at Shell, filling up a little bit. Straight 93 today, boys, 93 only. Get some fuel in this bad boy. Get her up. I don't know how many pulls are we going today. Fill up to a three quarter tank, and we're like two minutes from the dyno. I'm stoked. Car's looking good. It's starting to sprinkle, so I'm upset. <laughs> Got the car detailed just for today, so she looks real pretty on camera. Nah, uh, Mother Nature. Just fuck all that. Yeah, there. All right, boys, we are here. Be the first time on the dyno with this car and first time on an all-wheel drive dyno. This will be interesting. Woo! They're just getting her set up here. We're waiting on Ben to show up. Just getting things together, get it tied down. I'm excited. There we go, Millennium Racing Development. We're in Portsmouth, Virginia. They have an all wheel drive Mustang dyno and he says this is within half a percent of their dyno jet. They have two dynos here. Look at this guy. This thing is sexy. Got this sitting here. They got this R32. Beautiful. All types of stuff here. A little, little bit of a humid but cool day to get some dino time. Look who it is, boys. There's Sean from It's Not Stock. Came all the way down to hang out this weekend. My man. Hell yeah, brother. I just love this damn color. Oh, little scrape, scrape. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> Hell yeah. I meant to put this on earlier this week, but, uh, nice. You know, my car looks, you can tell that it's actually dirty now. <laughs> it's not terrible. I dig it. All right, guys, while we're messing around, we were just talking to see, see if these are interchangeable. The Mark 8. Oh, here, go ahead, toss it on. Let's see. Oop, I'm running into shit. So I was thinking about tossing mine on, so it should fit. Well, maybe because, oh, maybe not because, are right? they? 
Yeah, at least this one. And this one, yeah. Because the back ones are there. The front ones are here. Oh, this one, yeah, because there's usually one off of this or right here, I think. Well, those I two won't clip? I think that one and that one should. It's just the... This is in a different no, spot. This is in a different spot, too. Oh, yeah, that is slightly over. And the oil cap? Yeah, the oil cap. Pop that off. See if it'll clip down. Yeah. Your engine cover just works as your oil cap. Perfect. That'll stop the oil. I mean, it could work. It kind of hits the interior. Oh, no, it doesn't. It clears over there. That looks weird. That's weird to see. Not work. Sand face. Let's see. I want to see how this lines up on yours. I don't know if I'm allowed to be stepping up here. <laughs> Skirt. It is so much different to see the other racing line emblem on the, on the intake. I don't look like I have a rag in here. Oh yeah, no, this is like way too fucking. <laughs> the oil cap would be in the wrong spot too. Well, there you go. Now you got an Audi. <laughs> and from back here, it doesn't look too far off. It's a little high. Here we go. All right, boys, we're flashing back to stock now. I wonder what will make stock. Three, twenty. That's my guess. Uh, and, that? With the downpipe, intercooler intake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe, 320. I like 32, 32 well, is my number. Uh, I'm going. All right, so I think we're just, uh, just getting the RPM set up for the dyno. That way we can get a pool. This is neat. This is so cool. Wow, that's loud. This is the baseline. This is just stock software, right? Completely stock software. Uh... All right, so it's not showing torque on there, but 306 back to back. This is all my hardware, but stock software, stock ECU, stock TCU with a hatless downpipe, intake, intercooler, et cetera, et cetera. So that's actually not too far off from what I thought it would be like completely stock. So. Pretty cool. They, do, they say Mustangs are heartbreakers, so. All right, I figured out how to show torque there. So it says 350 torque, and that depends on how arc accurate our RPM is matched to the gear and the car and the rollers. Yeah, and then. there is any real slipper. Nice. 307, 350, that's gonna be our, uh, or 349 rather, that's gonna be our baseline. Stage two version. Awesome. that we've been making so this is based on the stuff i've been doing in canada as well which has only been stage one but still finding you know finding things all the time that's the whole point of this beta test right. idea so uh so yeah we'll see what this makes gotta do a full flash now so it's going to be about six seven minutes and then the tcu as well okay. uh, with the latest version and then we'll see what it gets to hell yeah but 
306 is a good start. That's a great start. I mean, this should be 320 crank, right? I think so, yeah. Stock. So, I would estimate that's over. Which every Mark 8 and S3 I've, I've dynoed has been over. Over? All of them. Wow. Which is good. That's good, yeah. I mean, it's, Underrated you know, from the factory. Definitely, yeah. And it's better to be that way around. So, we're just going to... It's the Delta we're interested in, of course. And then we'll see where we get to, but... I don't want to put any uh, any figures on it just yet. I want to see where we get to. Um, um, at the end of the day, the car will make the most it can. That's safe. That's the safety. That's what we want. Safety safe. matters. Yeah. So, you know, if it's 20 horsepower behind what somebody else says, I don't care. I don't care. It either. doesn't matter. And it's on a Mustang Dyno, and it's yeah, you know, this is all-wheel drive. So yeah. yeah, that's the other thing. That's exactly the other thing. This is my first time being on a all-wheel drive Dyno. Every other time I've done it, I've just I pulled the Haldex yeah, clip yeah, just and just did it front wheel. Yeah. So this is cool to see like all four wheels to the ground, 306, yeah. like I can't complain with that. It's pretty That's, good going yeah. for all four wheels. Yeah. Absolutely. I am stoked. I'm glad it all came together after all the messing about. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! It was cool though. It'll be a story for for me to tell. Well, at least, it, you know. that's good. That happened. That's there forever now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. This one guy, this, this English guy, came yeah. over. <laughs> yeah. Pick him up from the airport at like twelve thirty. It's awesome. Did a tunnel run. Yeah. It was awesome, and I appreciate it so much. All right, guys. Here we go. This is the stage two flash with. Uh, an actual new ECU file, or TCU file rather. Let's see how this goes. Hold your ears. any guesses like ethanol no guesses oh oh uh you have a guess my my guess i think i said on camera was 405 and like four like 30 440 torque okay well for a start that was no no that was my guess like that, that i doubt it but i don't know that, that's just that's just what i i was well, that was 393. 393? Mm. What? Off the bat, so. Nice. Now I'll go through the logs, see, you know, where I'm running, what I can perhaps do, and let's see if we can crack the 400. All right. Yeah? Pretty that good, is, right? That is. So that's like that's nearly, a, nearly a 100 wheel horsepower game. Yeah. So I'm guessing that that's, if this car is stock 320 crank, that's got to be close to 450 crank, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I bet you it's more like 470 with the drivetrain loss. Which I'm, I'm looking forward to doing some more stuff. Our car is being built into stage two right now, or will be doing when it comes back from Scotland, so we can then do the same thing on our car. So awesome. yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. So let's crack 400. We've got to get, we've got to get 400. Yeah, now. yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's the law. So you said what? 394. 393. That. 393. That to, yeah. 393. But look how, look how smooth it is. Take, yeah, take let a look. Get over. All right. There we go, 393, that's sick. I'm not sure um, how yep. to the torque Yeah, I think, I think I watched him do it. So let me see if I can. All right, so we figured out how to get torque back on there again. Look at that, 431, 393, 431. That is crazy. This is just 93 octane, 93. straight up. I didn't even, I was like, I was thinking about putting a little bit of ethanol in. I was like, no, I can't do that. I, that was mess yeah. mess up the data. That's literally like I got gas from the shell literally right around the corner from here, and the place was sketchy. I was like, I wonder. I hope this thing isn't watered down because it was pumping slow. Oh, I was like, oh no. I was like, I, don't, I hope this. I'm like it's already too late now. Dang. 
And you still gotta go over the logs and, and oh, yeah, check through things, so. Yeah. 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 All right. That's crazy. That's a lot of torque. It is. Yeah, that's like right on. That's like you almost don't want to be higher than that. You're, that's like perfect. That's a, that's a like less than 3,000 RPM, it looks like. That's wild. It's crazy how good these stock turbos are now. I know, and you're and you're not falling up. Oh, up. No. Oh. It's holding it all the way. Uh, it's 1224, 1778, 2330, 2886. Before 2886 is like two and a half. Right. Wow. Right. Where, when when it when is the cam change though? The cam change. Can I show your screen? Yeah. Yeah. Probably got definitely 33. Whoa, this yeah, is fancy. Go through and find it. Bloop, 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 bloop. This looks intense. <laughs> Whoa. Um, so we're switching at 2800. Wow. Because you can really hear it. Like when we stood yeah, back dun, there. You get a real noise from it, don't you? Especially with the downpipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. Like, holy shit. All right. We'll let you do your thing. All right. Thanks. Once again. Some adjustments we asked some questions the map sensors on these mark eights and ays threes they go to 2.5 bar he said the boost was set at two bar for that run to make 393 and four what was it 431 so he said they're so he said we're on the edge of timing but we still have more in the way of boost so that's crazy to hear like i'm already like this is i could go home right now and be happy like this this is good enough for me like like a couple, like a hair away from 400, like I'm good. Like you just imagine what that can be on ethanol. It's insane. I'm so hyped. We're about to do more runs, so let's go. <laughs> this is so awesome. louder once it changes over and that hurt oh my god oh here we go again Bro, my ears are like dying. <laughs> that changeover is so like, golly. Yeah, V Tech. Got <laughs> that V Tech.
You know, what I need to ask now, I want to see uh, air intake, air intake temp data. So on the, yeah, three back-to-back -back pools. I'm really, really curious on how the, the intercooler is doing with that. So we're going to, we're going to inquire. What do we say here? 403, 446? Yep. It's not, it's not the final number though, right? Is it, or is that final? Oh no, I'm not done. Okay. <laughs> no, just, just, just cause I'm, just cause, uh, we might, I might do a giveaway or something, you know? Oh, I see. Are you gonna go like, live? If somebody can guess yeah. the, the number accurately, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. I like that. Yeah. So I like you can that. cut out what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> So one thing, we don't have to do it right now, but I'm curious yep. with doing the three back-to-back -back pools, I want to see what uh, intake temp data looks like. Oh yeah, I'm logging it so I can tell you. Okay. I'm telling you now if you want. No, I mean, take your time, but I, I just want to put that on video just to see, I want to see how the intercooler is doing with Hold real data. End of the run, the 6,650 RPM, it's 29 degrees centigrade. So what's that going to be? 90 Fahrenheit? I, Although, I don't know. Yeah. But, I mean, I'd have to so it's 55 it. degrees out, so we'd have to do the math. I'll stick it on the screen here. What was yeah. it in 29 Celsius? 29 Celsius, yeah. Which is pretty good. 84 too. That's, that's, 84. Not, I mean, that's so not terrible. So 30, 30 degrees over? Yeah. Is that well, uh, What do you think about that? That's is pretty that, good. I mean, on... I mean, we have massive fans in our dyno. I mean, huge. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, dealing with. Yeah, so look, this is the fan we have. That's that little itty bitty guy. Yeah, right. Well, right. That's what we got to work with today, and that's fine. But we're seeing um, on the 8R at work, our Golf 8R, we're seeing like 40s at okay. stage one. Okay. And rule of thumb is one Celsius is around one horsepower. So if you can get down from 48, 49 down to 30, it's 20 horsepower. Right. Or, oh, wow. You know, it's, it's not that straightforward, obviously, but it's roughly that. So I'd say this intercooler is performing pretty well, especially given the fan's not massive. So, you know, we're, we're doing all right. Okay. We're doing all right. Well, that's nice to hear. So, um... There you guys go. Do an eight, put in some work there. Doing Hell work. yeah. So you're asking about, um... Turbocharger speed. Right, yeah, that's another thing. We were asking about uh, the turbine speed on the turbo. So the, the turbine turbo. speed is, is this here, and you can, let me just turn off the IAT, and we can run that versus boost pressure. Um, so you can see a big difference really Whoa. on how. So we got blue as turbine speed, red as engine speed, and yellow is boost, boost pressure. pressure. So you can see at this kind of point where they cross here, the boost pressure is just starting to come down after about 6,000 RPM. So you see it's just wavering down there. But if you look at the difference between the turbine speed there at 169 versus 187 within 600 RPM, that says to me that the turbo is kind of running out of what it's able to do at that point. Interesting. So, you know, because you, you, you're starting to drop boost off and the car's going, oh shit, I need, I need more. More, yeah. So and it's jumping the turbine speed up so quickly that I'd say we, we're at getting outside of the efficiency, efficiency. pattern. There. But, you know. And that, that right there at that point, you'd start creating more heat that isn't worth, right? When you get to a certain point, yeah. And again, you know, if you go back to intake air temperature, you can see that as we get to, you know, around here, like 4,500 RPM. It starts to climb. We're down at 24 degrees. So midway through the run. And then it starts to climb. Yeah. And then it gets faster towards that efficiency point dropping out. And then immediately we're at 29 within a couple of seconds. So you can see that's where it starts to go. But just imagine if that if you try and do this on a stock cooler, can you imagine the amount of heat it's yeah. gonna create and the cooler obviously can't get rid of it. So that's crazy. That's why you really do need you know people I get the conversations all the time, what do you need for stage two? For me, you need intake, it, intercooler, full exhaust in my opinion, but a lot of the newer exhausts are way better than things were on the Mark V platform for example. But So you could potentially if I had like a, a better muffler could that affect the way that the turbo Absolutely. is putting it right it's all so, efficiency the engines and air pump we've got to get air, air in and air out we have some fuel to make a nice bang but we, we need to get air in and out so the best thing we can do is get it as free it up. as possible as free flowing as possible how long do you want to say what we made on that yeah 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 we can um, go 403 446 yeah. so about 10 horsepower and what 15 torque yeah, so I'm saying there, I don't know how much more I'd want to push the turbo at the top. 
to be honest. I know. I could, yeah. I could feel like I could gain talk fairly easily, but talk's what's going to bend rods. Yeah, yeah, we don't want so, to do that. I'd like to keep talk at a nice level. If you look at where that comes in and stays pretty flat, mm -hmm. that's a nice place to be. Um, I don't know if I want to go any further with horsepower at the moment. To be honest. No, and that's yeah. So we'll see. That's way good for me. It's pretty good though. That's very good. I mean, that's better than what. It'd be nice what to see that hundred horsepower delta, wouldn't it? Yeah. Three hundred six, yeah. four hundred six would be nice. Three away. I mean. Having said that, actually, no. I bet you, I mean, if we go to the first you, pool, you can, you because this is the third pool, ain't that's, it? That's true. Yeah. I, if I you think want, it shows the max. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah. yeah I don't know how this works. So you get a, I mean, you get a couple of degrees in air temp drop or something. Yeah. You might, you might basically be at. You're pretty much at 406. You're right. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I, I would call it 100. I mean, that's. If you look at how much air temps have increased. Yeah, mind you guys, when we showed you that chart, that's on the last pool. So that's the worst of it. That's already heat soaked after, you know, two pools. Yeah, so, so that's the, the last run there was 403. 403. And again, do you remember how to bring the torque back up? So that disappeared again. Oh, yeah. Oh, how are you bring it back Yeah, up? there we go. Nice. Now, I don't know how to go back to the previous runs. I do not either. I don't know if that's... I'm gonna take a bathroom stop. Okay. And then we'll do another run. Word. Action. No way. That is sick. I did that last pull in landscape to get a little Instagram video, but. Wow, 420. How's that? I'd love it. 420, 445, boys. Shoo! That's, uh... That is crazy, dude. Pretty good. Right here, I need a fist bump. That's, that's money. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, dude. I'm pretty happy with that. You know, who doesn't love a good 420? I mean, that's... 420 wheel. <laughs> gotta be knocking on the door 480. Yeah. And that's just on 93. Like, imagine what they'll do on E. Like, that's... Yeah, another probably 4 to 50. Yeah. That's insane. Well, I'm going to do a couple of runs. Yeah, do make your thing. Make sure it's all good. I want to make sure the logs are okay. But I'm not pushing it any harder. No. I think that is a result. And that was no change, right? I was just letting the car cool down. Yeah, and... it, yeah just a five minutes. Just, just getting to that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's sick. Man, this is awesome. This is so cool. You want me to sign this? Yeah. Like, like properly actually sign it? Yeah. Okay. This is like... No one has ever, ever asked me to sign <laughs> You just made two... Yeah, I feel like I'm some kind of celebrity. Famous. You are. There you go. Awesome. My first ever autograph. <laughs> Trust me, if you fraud my credit card, it won't get you far. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I think so. With the suspension, if the suspension's set right, for sure, it was very close. 